animal signs. When you travel on the highways of Illinois, you see signs along these roads. They tell you the speed limit and many other factors that are important to travelers. Businesses have signs too. They help customers. Animals also have signs, although they aren't made of metal or neon. Wherever they live, animals produce evidence of their presence. Those pieces of evidence are called signs. You can tell a lot about animals by reading the signs they leave behind. Tracks, scats, rubs, scrapes, gnawed bones and nuts, shells, slime trails, holes, nests, and shed skins are types of animal signs. Tracks are footprints. They can be impressions in soft soil, sand or snow, or imprints of muddy feet left on other objects. Along stream banks or at the edge of any body of water, you're likely to find the footprints of many kinds of animals that come there to drink or feed. Tracks are different for each species, and you can identify the animal by looking at its tracks. Evidence of feeding activity includes collections of nuts, seeds, or fruits stored in a concealed spot. Tooth marks on anything indicate feeding. Look for gnawed mushrooms or chewed nuts, fruits, leaves, or twigs. Areas of bark are often chewed or stripped off as food. Look for tooth marks on the exposed wood. The distinctive signs of trees gnawed by American beavers indicate the presence of this species. If you're lucky, you might find an owl pellet under a tree where an owl roosted. The pellet is coughed up by the owl and contains the fur, bones, feathers, and other items that can't be digested from the prey it eats. You can even tell what the owl ate by looking at the contents of the pellet. Any natural cavity in a tree, stump, or fallen log is likely to contain signs of use by some animal. Look for tracks, droppings, and bits of food around the opening or signs of nesting within. Many animals live underground, and any undeveloped area will reveal openings to dens and burrows. In grassy areas, you may find the runs of small mammals on the ground. In winter, you'll see the activity of these animals as tunnels in the snow. Some animals build easily recognizable homes. Squirrel and bird nests are commonly seen in trees. Lakes, ponds, streams, and swamps are likely to contain muskrat or American beaver lodges. Hornet nests are easier to locate in winter than they are when leaves are present on the trees they are built in. Slime trails left behind show the activity of slugs and snails. Even fishes can leave signs. Look in the water along the shoreline of ponds and lakes for the remnants of the beds where they fan the bottom with their fins to make a depression to lay their eggs. Animals have distinctive solid waste materials too. Eastern cottontail, coyote, and white-tailed deer pellets are some of the more common and easily identified waste. Skulls and bones can be used to identify an animal that has died. Shells of snails and mussels are signs that these animals were present. Snakes shed their skin as they grow. You might find a snake skin in a woods or prairie. White-tailed deer mate in the fall. The male, or buck, uses his antlers and forehead to place his scent down small trees to help mark his territory. These rubs can be seen as places where the bark has been removed from small trees. He also makes scrapes with his hooves. The scrape is cleared of vegetation. and then the buck stands in it and urinates over his tarsal glands to put his scent on this bare ground. Trails are used by white-tailed deer for ease in moving from bedding to feeding sites and back. Trails are paths traveled frequently by these animals. Deer beds are flattened areas of vegetation. They stand out when snow is on the ground because the warmth of the deer's body often melts the snow where it lays. Going for a walk outdoors provides the opportunity for you to find animal signs in any season.
Take a walk and see what you can learn by reading the signs.